Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan and what I'd like to do today is show you all how to customize a basic profit and loss slash cash budget template, how to customize that to use in a lawn care business plan. So without further ado, let's go ahead and zip on through this little PowerPoint presentation I've got prepared for you all. And first and foremost, in order to customize a profit and loss statement or in order to customize a cash budget, you actually need a template to customize. So if you all don't have a um, template, um, feel free to go over to qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash financial projections for a business plan. And once there, scroll down a little bit until you get to where it says downloadable basic profit and loss and cash budget template this template right here there is a price um so just you know i'll pay for it and download it and once you do it's going to look similar not similar but it's going to look exactly like this except i added the lawn care for your viewing pleasure um so once you get this and you open up the excel template there's going to be two different tabs one is going to be the first one's going to be your profit and loss tab which is going to be uh, this one right here and then you're going to have a cash budget tab which is this one right here now the beautiful thing is is once you have your cash budget once you have your profit and loss section complete here your cash budget information will also be rolled over so it's, it's a great little um, bonus for this template right here all right so now that we've got this structure right here the uh, the next step to um, to customize this in order to use it for a lawn care business would be to add what i call an advanced section so in this template here go ahead and add revenue a revenue section a labor section and then also a rent and utility section <clears throat> once you go ahead and add these um the, these three sections then you're ready to go ahead and start completing the data block and once you're done with the data block all of your profit and loss for year one section will be completed as well all right, so for the first part is going to be the tax rate. I like to go ahead and just estimate a 20% tax rate. And you, you can go 25, you can go to 18%, wh whatever you think or whatever you feel your ta your taxes are going to be on your revenues, um, put that right here. Next is gonna be interest on loans. Whether you have um, you know loan for your equipment, loans for your trailer, loan for your truck, um, whatever loan interest, <clears throat> whatever interest you have on your loans, maybe credit cards, Go ahead and put it right here. The next one is going to be, once we're done with that, that's our general information. Now we're gonna go into our cost and our revenues and that's gonna be the second section. So um, for this section right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and we're going to go ahead and, um, so for weekly cuts, what we're gonna do here is we are going to go ahead and we're gonna actually call this price. <clears throat> so what is your average price for a um, for service? So we're going to say average price for a weekly cut is going to be $50. And our variable cost, we're going to say is going to be $4. And the variable cost might be the gasoline for the equipment. It might be string for your trimmers. Um, but whatever the variable cost is per cut, um, just put that information right there. <clears throat> and then one-time service, we're going to charge a premium for the one-time service. And the variable costs are going to be the same, though. So this, this right here is just your um, estimate for what, what you're going to be doing on a daily basis or what you're going to be charging on a daily basis. All right, so once we're done with that, we're then going to go ahead and we're going to do totals. So we're going to um, put an equal sign, sum, open up a parenthesis, and then we're going to highlight our weekly cut in our one-time service, close our parenthesis and hit enter. And we're going to do the same thing for our variable cost, equal sign, sum, open up a parenthesis, highlight the variable cost, close it, hit enter. Next thing we need to do is figure out some averages. So for the average, we're gonna go ahead and hit an equal sign. We're gonna click on our total. Then we're gonna divide it by however many types of services we're gonna be offering. In this case right here, we're going to be saying two. Same thing for the variable cost, we're gonna hit an equal sign. We're gonna go ahead and click on the eight, divide that by the number of services, again, we are offering two different services, so we're gonna go ahead and click on two. And finally, what we're going to do is we need to figure out our variable cost as a percent. So we're gonna go ahead and hit equal sign. We're gonna divide that 42 by the $62.50 or the average for revenues, 
and that's going to give us a variable cost as a percent of six dollars and forty cents once we're done with that we're going to go back up to our model and it says the average sales price we're going to type in equal sign and then we're going to go down here and we're going to click on the average sales price which is sixty dollars and fifty cents and we'll hit enter and the number of sales per day so with this right here since we're doing weekly services we're going to estimate what our the number of um, customers per week that, that's going to be a little bit that's going to make a little bit more sense so we're going to say that um, we're going to do uh, seven customers a day six um, seven days uh, six five days a week so let's say we're going to service 35 customers a week so instead of number of um, sales per day we're going to we're going to be making this the number of sales per week now instead of number of uh, days worked in the month we're going to change this a number of months in uh, a number of weeks in a month so we're going to go with 4.333 so based on this these calculations we're going to have revenues of approximately nine thousand four hundred and seventy eight dollars and this means right here instead of working um number of um, sales per day this is number of sales per week this is the average um, sales price per cut and this is the number of weeks per month so that's how we're going to customize this for our lawn care business next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in a growth rate we're going to say the growth rate is going to be and let's say the growth rate is going to be three percent once that's done we're then going to go ahead and go over to our variable cost and we now need our variable cost as a percentage which we calculated right here so we'll go ahead and click on that and enter <clears throat> next is going to be our fixed cost fixed costs are going to be our monthly cost and so um if you're a big enough lawn care company you might have a um you, you might have an office space and you know with that office space you might pay 750 dollars a month your electric it, it can run about 70 hopefully you're not going to spend too much time in there water might be 35 phone definitely be on your phone we'll call it 110. So once you've got all of your rent and utility um, costs, all of your overhead costs lined up, you're then going to go ahead and total it up by typing in an equal sign, sum, open up a parenthesis, and then you're going to highlight all of, your, um, all of your rent and utilities and hit enter. And then once you're done with that, oh, we did our rent. We should have done our sal um, salary and labor. All right, so our salary and labor is next so we're going to go ahead and for the salary and labor we're going to go to, to the salary and labor section and we've got right here our salary so this is going to be how much we want to pay ourselves every month so we're going to say we're going to pay ourselves 250 $2,500 a month next thing we're going to do is we need to determine how many employees we have so let's go ahead and say we're going to have um the number of hours worked in a month is going to be 174 that means it's full time and the rate of pay for our employees let's say well actually for for this right here we're going to say we have two employees they work both full time we pay them 12 an hour so once we have that this is the hourly rate here and this is the number of hours they work per month 174 indicates that 40 hours a um, 40 hours a week so it's full time so the way we're going to calculate this for the monthly labor is we're going to take the hourly hourly rate we're going to multiply that by the number of hours in the month once we have that done for the first one we're just going to go to the bottom right hand corner grab grab it and pull down and that's going to now give us our um both employees what their um, rates are per month the next step is going to be to go down to the employee total hit equal sign type in sum open up a parenthesis then you're going to highlight all of your employees close a parenthesis and hit enter and that's going to give us the total amount that we're going to be paying the employees every month the final step is going to be to add your salary with your employee's salary and that now gives us a total of um for our our um our variable cost i'm sorry this is the total for our labor so we'll go up here to salary and labor we're going to hit an equal sign and we're going to click on the um, total salary and labor and hit enter and then for rent and utilities we're, again we're going to put an equal sign we're going to go over here because we've already filled out the rent and utilities we're going to go right to the total and hit enter and then for advertising let's say we're going to do 250 dollars for advertising insurance legal be another 250 and then miscellaneous will be 150 dollars so now once we're done with that 
we can go ahead and take a look at our monthly profits. It looks like for the first month we're going to be losing a little bit of money. Um, but after that, our profits are going to continue to grow. And for the first year, we anticipate making $13,934. Now, if we're not comfortable with that, if we want to make a little bit more money, then what that tells us is we're going to have to either change our revenues, increase our prices, or increase the number of um, customers that we're going to be servicing per week. So if we want to add one customer per week, we'll hit enter. And that gives us um, one customer per day, which is goes from 35 to 40. So that's going to give us a annual rate of 28,000. That's still a little bit low. So we're going to, you know, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going to happen if we increase our weekly cut. So instead of charging on average $50, if we change it to $55, then that's going to be a little bit better because now we're up to $33,200. And that's on top of us paying ourselves the $2,500. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty good um, starting point for the first year. So once we're satisfied with how the, um, the long care profit and loss is going to look, we can then go ahead and go over to our cash budget and we can figure out what our financing needs are going to be. Now, since we're collecting money on a weekly basis, and for the most part, people are going to be paying us um, cash. Um, we're going to say that our um, cash sales are going to be 90%. And then our starting balance, we're going to say that we've got $10,000 in the account. So now once we um, enter this right here, the, now for the cash sales as a percentage, this is how, much, how many customers are going to be paying us cash. And then the other 10% is going to be credit customers. They're going to be giving us a credit card. And once we process that credit card, we're probably not going to get the money for, you know, three to five days. So I, I put all of the 10% um, into the next month. So we've got cash sales here. And then for the next month, the credit sales are going to come in for us. And that's how that's structured. So for this particular strategy right here, and also for the cash balance, this is the amount of money that we're going to have when we start organ once we start uh, this is the now this is the amount of money that's going to be in our checking account once we start operation is ten thousand dollars so what this tells us is that the um if the cash budget the annual cash budget what this tells us is what our ending cash position is going to be at the end of at the end of every month you know so for example you know if we want to go ahead and hire a second crew but we're going to need twenty thousand dollars in which to do it we know we're going to be able to do that in month five so in month five, we can go to other cost right here, and we can go ahead and put in a cost of $20,000. This is a hire a new crew, and that immediately reduces our cash position to $3,400. So that deducts the that additional cost. And now we're able to see that, you know, if we want to go ahead, every time we get $20,000, we're going to add another crew. Then we know that we're going to be able to add another crew at month nine as well. And so once we see this, now, now we know when our costs are going to be, and we also can start projecting when additional revenues are going to start coming in as well. So hopefully this information was helpful. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and wrap up this up. <clears throat> So in summary, make sure to follow a proven format. Use some use a you know some kind of a template or some kind of a, a structure for your profit and loss statement and your cash budget. Once you have that structure, then you can go ahead and customize it to meet your needs, whether it's for a lawn care service or for a hair salon or for a restaurant. You start with the foundation where you know the calculations are good and then build on that to customize it and make it your own. And finally, if y'all need some help with doing these, um, <clears throat> excuse me, with making these changes to the, I'm um, customizing these templates, or you need some help with a um, financial projections, uh, please reach out to me. My email is right here. My phone number is right here. I would be absolutely delighted to assist. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and best of luck to you in your future endeavors. Thank you.